Lights, camera, action! One of the things that I was super excited about was the opening of the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. It finally opened. I got myself a membership. I've been several times, but one place that I hadn't been was Fanny's, which is the restaurant that's part of the museum. So I decided to stop by Fanny's and try a couple of their cocktails, including the world's best martini, which is made with both gin and vodka. pretty good. I also ordered the smoked fish rillettes, 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 rillettes. I never know how to pronounce that. But however you pronounce it, it was a tasty dish. And I finished everything off with the dune, which is a mezcal based cocktail. Movie themed drinks are a lot of fun, and I definitely got to try some of the others that are on the menu. But after finishing my meal and drinks at Fanny's, I headed into the museum. David exhibits explored early black film. We're talking like Oscar Michaud and Paul Robeson. They were pioneers as far as black people in film, making film. There's also a section where you just saw all these Oscars <laughs> from, from, well, all the Oscar winning films. They also had like, you know, some of the envelopes that the winners, you know, were announced from. Another favorite part of the museum for me was the Spike Lee room. Like there's an entire room dedicated to Spike and his films, memorabilia from his films. But also films that inspired and influenced him. Of course, I love the screenwriting section where they had copies of screenplays, like original screenplays that were used on set. Even some of the screenplays that were, you know, uh, written by hand or written on old typewriters. There's also the costume and makeup section. You see iconic costumes from films as varied as The Wiz to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Some of the wigs and prosthetics that were used, you know, for films such as Dolomite Is My Name. The section on Pedro Almodovar. There's a section on animation. A section devoted to CGI special effects. And of 
course, Bruce the Shark from Jaws. <laughs> I was finished I stepped out onto the Dolby family terrace and I just looked out over Los Angeles and I knew like yeah I'm manifesting my own Oscar win